Rich lining it up. We're just about set in Vegas. Underway, and it will be Thomas getting the first touch, and he had a crease, but a good job by the Trojan special teams. Nussmeyer will throw quickly, and that's Kyron Lacy first play of first down for LSU. So like we said, you're going to see uh, him ride, rely on that running game. That's on a little half roll. He'll fire again, and Lacy, I think he got a foot down again. So two plays. Air Alexander they stuck the game with for SC. It. They protect him and they get it out to the tight end. Mason Taylor. Taylor all the way down to the 20-yard line. And he's got another first down for the Tigers. Did as he takes the All-American tackle. Instead of blocking right there, he's going to slide to the outside. That corner is picked up nicely. Gives him time. Goes the opposite direction to big Mason Taylor, who's now in his third year. Makes a great... Now first and 10. Just outside the 20. Back to the ground and running with the ball is Jackson and Caleb Jackson showing up. I checked that 18, not 28. It's goal for Nussmeyer. He'll throw the slant. He's got it complete, but his receiver will be stopped short. It's Kyle Parker, and it'll be fourth down. Pressure coming. They're on Nussmeyer. He gets away, and he has to throw it away, and the Trojans get a stop. Moss to throw. He has a man down the middle, finds his tight end, and Lake McCree makes his second catch. Oh, that, that, we just, I think his defense has really responded to him very well. We'll see how they do tonight. SC setting it up, and there is Branch. Branch is electric. He's across the 45 and dances out of bounds just short of midfield. He listed at 6'7, 320. Much bigger than that. He made a big block there. And Moss buys a little time. Puts it into traffic. Did he pull that down? Kyron Hudson. Oh, my goodness. What a catch. What a play. That's just Are a one hand. Kidding? Let me throw my hand up and give it a shot. That's between two defenders. Then if he loses the ball, I'm sure they're going to take a look at that to see if he held on to it. I say just the for the effort, we the give it to him. Hey, Early man. The field was a catch for a first down. One hand, ball comes out, two hands. I'm pulling for him. Hold on to that ball. Play stands in a 24-yard gain from Kyron Hudson, kid out of modern day. Watch the left arm, forearm. I think it prevents the ball from hitting the ground. The right hand had firm control. They'll give it to Mark, and he's into the end zone for the first touchdown of the season for USC. Starts as a double team. Watch him stay on that block. And the back gets right behind him. That's the look at our goal line stand for LSU against LSU. Now that 1,400 pounds shouldn't be confused with the weight Lincoln Riley feels to get this thing going at USC after a disappointing year last year. And two times. Kind of gets it out in the flat there. Kirk had to pick up a few inches for the first down, and Williams will get him more than that. He's out close to the 45. You know, in the Holly's point, Eric is one of the guys who's gained some weight. We've seen him play linebacker at barely 200 pounds. As quick completion, and Xavier Thomas. Street closed tonight. They expect to get him back later in the season. Nussmeyer back to work. Another completion. This one to C.J. Daniels. It's a first down for LSU. Lacey in motion. Nussmeyer looking that way. Now on the wheel, throws it up. Lacey caught it. Did he get down this time? He did. Touchdown, LSU. These defense, you want to get a safety on your best receiver, and that's what they do with that motion. You get the safety down, look who has to try to cover that best receiver. Ball's there. He's in position, just doesn't make the play, doesn't finish on the play. He was in position, but the ball gets away from him. Ball was cut away from Lacey, but he does get a hold of it and gets a foot down for that touchdown. Remember the opening drive? Lacey was a out of the like catch. conduct. Offense number two. That's his first unsportsmanlike foul of the game. The foul will be enforced on the kickoff. Zachariah Branch, you really don't want to give him the extra room to work with. Here is Branch. Looking for room. Branch has a seam. Goodbye. Oh, I thought he had the 
Jimmy couldn't want to play by the kickoff man to get him. College game. And that penalty by Lacey gave Branch a chance to have more space. Pat McAfee, if he's watching, very <laughs> proud of that kicker's effort. RWLasVegas.com. The kickoff return from Branch. Moss tries to pay it off immediately. And he does. He's got Deuce Robinson for the big game. And the sack. They backed all the way up to the 24. Here's Moss. This time a screen. Flips it out. There's Branch. You had the kickoff return. Zachariah Branch gets down to the four-yard line. Man, is he fun to watch. Ball away from him. It sure looked like that. It was a really good play by Stamps. A 22-yard field goal attempt is true for Land. Ways, but these two defenses the last couple of years have been very sieve-like. And not the case. They're working for it in this one. Another strike from Nussmeyer to Lacey. He's inside the 35 and down to the 32. He is slinging darts in 36. Ramos with the leather on the way. And we are tied at 10. Well, Moss getting some heat. They tried to send it up to the back. Woody Barnes broke one tackle, but not the second one. A lot of white shirts there. Him to be able to try to get after Miller Moss. Moss right down the middle and right on the money finds Makai Lemon. That'll be a first down to the 36. And based on pregame warmups, they're right on the edge of field goal range already. Communication until 15 seconds on the play clock. Go on the ground. Woody Marks has a seam. Marks inside the 20 and he's knocked down. Clock will stop to move the chains. 12 seconds left. SC still with a timeout. It is on the way, and he missed it. I, I, I said again, I'm not real happy with the split decision in 03, even 21 years later. He changed things up after that, and oh, there was a miscommunication, and that could have very easily been disastrous. Ashton Stamps was there. Empty backfield, Miller Moss. Got time, firing down the middle. This time, no one knocks it away from Ford. Ford across midfield, into LSU territory before he's finally knocked down. Jordan Allen stops him, and a huge play from Moss to Ford picks up 41. Zachariah Branch. Zachariah Branch actually, I think, was the intended target. They end up going to Ford. Ford cut in front of that. Moss. Throwing the fade, throwing deep, and flags coming everywhere as they're going to get P.J. Woodland, the youngster, the freshman from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, for interference. Yeah, never located the football. You know, it's a tough thing to do, Pass especially for a true freshman. Defense number 11. Going up, by the way, this young freshman is going to be a superstar mm -hmm. in the SEC. He's a great player. This time he's just out of position. You can see his head never turns around. Good job by Deuce Robinson. Moss under heat down he goes pressure in there coming from Savion and he should be the first one to go over and high five the secondary because of the coverage that they played zone coverage good job of taking away all the potential on the miss he had in 29 this one from 35 and this time he does not flinch and he puts USC on top earlier that they did that previous field goal drive for the Trojans Nussmeyer over the middle. There's Mason Taylor. Taylor's got the catch again. Debut next weekend in Tampa. Man, to be able to play in the NFL, that's what I'm most excited about. <laughs> Look who's loose. It's John Emery back at LSU and the former highly touted high school running back who's had a... Aaron Jones, yep, Holly, tell him thank you. That was awesome to hear from him. But what a good job here at getting upfield by Emery. Waited patiently for the box to clear and then right away be, is able to get north and south with that speed and what a great job to see him you know he, he had the acl last year against florida's worked his way back and you know they need running back LSU. <laughs> back to emory why not emory slamming inside the 20 he's got an lsu first down it would appear throw he's got aaron anderson anderson has a pass to the end zone and lsu is back on top late in the third on these third and shorts to cushion, which opens up in man coverage, a quick out. The timing is perfect by Nussmeyer, but after he makes his throw, watch the collision by two USC defenders. 
I mean, there's a chance there, very, very good chance that he's not going to get into the end zone. Maybe a chance to try to keep him short of the first down. But after the ball is thrown, nice ball, nice catch, and then the two defenders run into each other, makes it very easy. By four. They fake the little trickery, and the ball's on the ground, and man, oh man, is USC fortunate to come up with that as Elijah Page was Lemon in motion. Moss throwing the glass, finds McCree, and late McCree, who's had some big plays tonight, makes the grab Jordan Allen. The blitz of linebacker on one side. See his eyes kind of looking out this way? What a call by Lincoln Riley to then slip the tight end right behind him. So the action of the receiver, Lemon, draws the eyes of the defense. Practice came back quickly. So good to have the pads on. He's made an impact tonight. Boy, Moss is feeling all kinds of heat. And how in the world did he get that in there? Jacoby Lane with the grab. It's off. They brought 40 again on this blitz, and he gets in clean. Well, I thought he'd at the very least get a hand on this. He's falling backwards to make this throw, and he splits the corner and the safety to big number eight. It's that last carry, second and six. Pressure off the edge. Ball batted high into the air, still up there and diving for it and almost intercepted. This is with these backers, so they bring Perkins, they bring Penn, and then Womack off the edge. They keep, they keep trying to put Mason Murphy, they keep trying to isolate him. And you think it might have been four down territory, but into the backfield to make the stop is Whit Weeks. And now it'll be fourth and long, and it may still well be four down territory, but now it's a difficult fourth down. And right now, SC needs nine yards on fourth down in LSU territory. Moss fires, and it's batted away again. And this time it blows, intercepted. I'm not sure he controlled it. Whit Weeks again had it in his hands, and it was stripped away. And and continue to be who he is and trust his players. Brings that blitz. Savion Thomas eventually, Savion Jones eventually came free to knock it loose. It looked like Weeks had possession just for maybe a step or two. That's that's going to be the question here, Kirk. Occasionally, he could be a superstar and just continue to get more and more reps. That's Meyer on second down. Fires underneath. They've got it complete. And out there to a tight end there, very high on Camorion Pimpton. Give to Emery, and he is hit in the backfield, and he didn't get there. Both yep. of these defenses standing up and making stops in the fourth quarter, it, which would give the Trojans or LSU another stoppage should they need it. Miller Moss back to work, firing, got Kyron Hudson, Hudson into LSU territory inside the 45. Just went over 300 yards for the night. <laughs> He's trying to give his team the lead. Pressure off the edge, but they get loose. It's Woody Marks. Marks bouncing off tacklers inside the 30 and down to about the 28-yard line. Another explosive play for the Trojans. Inside the 30. Free play. All right, caught Major Burns offside. Moss going to try to make him pay. Throwing to the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Jacoby Lane. Because he put it up and over the receiver and let him run underneath it, it's a heck of a job of using his body by Jacoby Lane there and then pushing off late because the ball's thrown over that outside shoulder. Gets that late separation for the touchdown. What a throw by Moss. With last year. The toss. And keep it on the ground. That is a big hit from the Trojan defense. Stop him short of the first down. These defenses. Play clock getting on top of him. Nussmeyer gets it off. Needs to pick up the first down here. He's got a wide open Anderson. And he's into USC territory. Aaron Anderson knocked down inside the 30. And Nussmeyer comes up with a huge play to Aaron Anderson. And takes away Mason Taylor. That's what look at Nussmeyer. He's looking right here. He wants to throw. He's taken away. No problem. Keeps his poise. Looks backside. And then eventually. And 10. Backfield's empty. Nussmeyer stands in. Fires to the outside. And the catch is made by Xavier Thomas for a first down. Look at it here. It is upper body land. Oh, no. Does he have possession while that right foot is down? Elbow down. That's it. 
You think that's, that's a catch, a catch Bill? Billy? It looks like to me, elbow down. He said elbow down quickly. You got it. Yeah. First of all, the back foot was down inbound. Okay, that's what I was when wondering. When he first started to control. Secondly, even if that wasn't, he came down with the elbow first. After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. First down. Just as we thought in a sizable third down. Trojans have one red zone stop against LSU, the opening drive of the game. Can they get another? Flag flying, Nussmeyer throwing, and ball is broken up, intended for Kyron Lacey. Illegal shift, offense number 18 and number two. That penalty's declined, brings up fourth down. It looked like Kyron Lacey to me was a... On the way and right down the strip here in Las Vegas, and we are tied at 20, 147 to go. First half, similar time. If the easy completion out to Marks, Marks up across the 25 to the 30, he'll be stopped there. Clock continues to run. Not doing anything crazy here. LSU would like to get pressure, but keep everything in front of them. They're able to do so, but that will be a first down. You saw that green line down about the 36, where SC needs to get it. Zachariah Branch is open. Now Branch goes down a little bit short of the first down mark. Defense. They'll run the ball and get the first down. They tried to do that in the first half to stop the clock, and they did. I'm yep. sure they're thinking, see if Moss can make up for it throws back to Kyron Hudson who smartly stepped out of bounds with 22 seconds to go second down and 15 got to get it into field goal range Moss throwing to Hudson Hudson takes a big hit but he got the hot what a catch again that's two spectacular catches and there's a flag down this may put them right on the doorstep for field goal range if it's targeted the result of the play is a first down Personal foul, targeting, defense number two. The previous play is under further review. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. He just <laughs> likes to make the crazy catch. Make it hard. He likes right. to make that crazy <laughs> catch. We saw. Man, he's made two big catches. Now, they called targeting. Of course, they're reviewing it, the replay officials, to make sure and that it stands. After further review, the ruling on the field of a catch is, is stands. The ruling on the field of targeting is confirmed. Number two is disqualified for the remainder of the game. Half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. He's a transfer from Georgia Southern. Woody Marks might make it a moot point, and he does! Talk about all the field goals, and Woody Marks rumbles into the end zone, and USC is on top with eight seconds to play. He follows the tight end, and instead of being able to fill that hole, it still would have been a nice gain, but it wouldn't have been a touchdown. So he eyes are in the backfield. Good job at the left side. Predominantly Pregnon, that left guard, just drilling down in that big, powerful LSU defensive line. 55 to 60 yards away from the line of scrimmage. Nussmeyer throws an interception, and that's how it's going to end. Mason Cobb picks it off. And the Trojans will have a victory, and what a way to christen USC in the Big the Ten. And with a victory over LSU here in Las Vegas.